Watch this video to see how you can get enrolled in HomeGage Payments so you can start accepting credit card payments online for your inspection services. Click the drop down for the business type and choose what applies to your business. Add your business name as it appears on your tax documents. You can also type out a business name that you would like to appear on your client's credit card statements if it differs from your legal business name. If it doesn't differ, you can just check the box below. Next, click the drop down and choose the industry. The industry for inspection services will fall under professional services field. Next, you'll add your EIN, your employer identification number, nine digits that the IRS uses to identify your company. If you have a sole proprietorship and never were issued an EIN, just leave this field empty. Next, pop in your business phone, email, and your website. Don't have a website yet? You can put in homegage.com in this field. Also, be sure to check out the link in the video description below. We've got details on how Homegage can hook you up with an awesome website if you don't have one yet. Next, click on the middle option, Customers Enter Payments Online. Click the Business Detail dropdown. Skip the first box. You don't actually have to fill that out. In the next box, you're going to type in inspection services, just keeping it simple, and that will help your application go through faster. Give an annual estimate of how much the business makes or what you're expecting to make. Add an average amount for a transaction. Go ahead and click the business address drop down and complete that information. Click the account login drop down, and here you'll create your own username, which you will use when you're logging into your HomeGage payments account. So you make up this username. You can have them match your HomeGage username if you want, just for convenience and then make sure to give it a password and just pay attention on what the password requirements are. Passwords need to have one number, one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and eight characters long minimum. Next, we'll move on and enter the information about the owner. So enter in your name and the details here. You can check the boxes below if your email and your phone numbers are the same as the business email and phone number you already provided to save you some time. Enter in your business title and your ownership. For instance, if you're the only owner of your company, you're going to own 100%. And then you're going to fill out if you have legal responsibility for the company. Um, if you are the owner, then you click yes. If you share it with other folks, um, you might click no and have to fill out some additional information about the other ownership. Click the blue link if you need to add another owner. Now click the link to enter in your bank account information. Enter in your routing number, your bank account number, and then use the drop down to choose what type of account.
Here you're going to go and click on Upload File and locate the image of your voided check to add it to the application. You can always take a picture of a voided check with your phone and then just email it to yourself so you've got the file on your computer. Okay, so next you're just going to have to view the terms and conditions and agree. So to do that, click on the links that you see in blue and they will open up the terms and condition documents. You can close those pages and after you've viewed them, you can check the boxes to agree. And then finally, just click the blue sign up button on the right to complete. So your application is done. And all you have to do is just wait for HomeGage to send you an email to confirm that your gateway is live.